and she is inquiring about a supplication that a person may uh, read. Uh, she said her uh, friend is looking for a spouse. So uh, the best dua, of course, in this regard is the one which is by the end of Surah Al-Furqan. رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنٍ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا Why this dua is very comprehensive in this regard? Because it doesn't only settle for asking for a husband and, a, and, 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 a, and an offspring, rather uh, the person is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for a spouse and an offspring, a goodly offspring who will bring peace of mind and comfort for our hearts and minds. And furthermore, to make us all righteous, rather to make us the leaders of the righteous people. وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ imama. Towards the end of Surah Al-Furqan, رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنٍ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ imama. And you can always make dua in your own language, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you with the best life, mate. May Allah make it easy for you.